Ready to Love is coming back. You know, they do two seasons in each city. And so last season they were in Miami. And so this season is still going to be in Miami. The premiere date is going to be January 6th. I think it's a Friday. So listen, I was cruising these internet streets like I normally do. And I saw that Misha Review put out a reveal of the cast for this next season. Okay. So I went to Essence and I said, let me go and we're gonna take a look and read this article as well. Before we get into the article, we're just gonna go down the list of cast members and see briefly what they look like and who they are. I'm gonna try to pronounce everybody's name at first sight while I'm reading this article. However, if I make a mistake, once I hear their names being said when the show airs, I definitely will always get it right. So. Um, I never understand why people never, like it's people that give them nicknames and they call them certain things and they purposely don't say their names right. I'm not talking about those people. But the people who just literally cannot retain names. Like I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I, I know everybody has their struggles, but if you're watching this show every week, I'm gonna need y'all to get these people's names right. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so first we have Corvaya. Okay, all right. Yes, Licks. So then we have Natasha. Then we got Z. Z look like she could be related to the kid and me. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I thought Sharice from last season looked like Evelyn Lozada, but I don't know. Then we got Morgan. Morgan looks like Regina Hall to me. So then we got Marcia, who's 34. Marcia looked like somebody too. I just can't place it right now. Then we got Mercedes. Then we got Sue Ann, who's 39. If she would have told me her name was Sue Ann and I didn't see a picture or uh, the age, I would definitely assume that Sue Ann was older than 39. Not saying she looks old, I'm just saying the name sounds old, but that's neither here nor there. Then we got Jeffrey, the last of the ladies. Then we have, then we have Anthony, who's 39. We have Andre. We have Andre who's 39. I don't know, but Andre already looked like he gonna be on some bullshit, but we'll see. You know what I mean? You never know what the Ready to Love cast is going to bring. You know what I mean? Then we got Blake. We're gonna see how Blake do. Then we have Lyndon. Now, okay, so I wanna say this too. Like When we look at these cast photos before the show starts, like, these cast photos give them a certain look. You know what I mean? Then we get on the show, then we start watching the show and we be like, oh, who in the world was that person? But then we got Andre, then we got Blue. Now Blue also seems like he's gonna come with some level of bullshit, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know why I said that. Then we got Blue and we got Demario and then we got Tony. Now we only have 16 cast members and y'all know they usually start with about 20. Who knows what curveballs will come this season? We don't know if anybody else is gonna be involved yet. Y'all gotta watch Kamisha reviews for that because she's usually one of the first ones to find out about things like that. So definitely check her out. You know that she will have the panel on Saturday afternoon to recap what happened in that week's show. So definitely be on the lookout for that. So I just wanna take a really quick look at this article because I found a lie. At least one lie I found a lie. You know what I mean? All my people who reviewed the show seasons before, y'all tell me if y'all noticed the same lie in this article. So it says, today Oprah Winfrey Network announced the premiere day for the seventh season of its hit reality series, Ready to Love. Beginning on January 6th, the show returns to Miami where an all new cast of 16 hopeful singles will meet, interact, date, eliminate unfavorable prospects, and ultimately determine which are truly ready for love. Over the course of 14 weekly installments, love triangles and broken hearts will threaten and strengthen budding romances as only the strongest connections remain intact. Hosted by Tommy Miles, this season of Ready to Love will air the show's 100th episode and will mark the occasion with a special celebrating its success at helping black men and women navigate the single scene to find lasting relationships. Ready to Love's average viewership has grown across all key demos in each of the past two years. We look forward to the continued success of this series and we are excited to showcase hopeful love and relationships in our programming. It's rare for a long running series to continue growing its audience, but that's exactly what Ready to Love is doing, said Packer. We keep the show fresh, exciting, and real by bringing together the right mix of singles who are committed to finding love, and this season our Miami hopefuls get down to business right out of the gate. Whether you're a longtime Ready to Love fan or new to our viewing family, we've got a great new season in store. Um, so, I don't know. 
What do y'all think about the article? I think that the show is good. You know I'm a fan. I'm always going to watch. But I feel like the show has changed a lot. Now, change is inevitable. But the show has changed a lot. And there are a lot of things that happened in the last couple of seasons that just don't lead me to believe that they're picking people that really want to find love. But I digress. We're going to watch this season with an open mind. And we're going to come and talk about it every week to see what's going on okay so if you ready to watch the new season of ready to love and you can't wait put a comment below if you're not watching this season put a comment below and let us know i mean we're not going to judge you because i get it but um chime in below but that's all i have for you guys for this video like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace Fine, whatever.